right, welcome to another ShedSuite training video. And in this video, we're gonna be showing you how to enable and make sure that your advanced idea room e-commerce integration is set up properly, okay? Uh, and so in this video, we're gonna be going over some of the settings, what to look out for, and if you're having issues, kind of how to figure out what the issue is. So the first thing you'll do is log into your ShedSuite account. If you have Idea Room enabled already, you'll see an e-commerce setting down here. You also need to have e-commerce enabled on your account. So you can see under landing page settings that there is this new toggle that says use 3D Builder. So if you have Idea Room turned on and you also use the 3D Builder. If you don't use the 3D Builder, you're just creating a link that links out to your 3D configurator. But if you wanna use your configurator in the e-commerce platform, go ahead and toggle this on. And so we'll save those changes and we'll take a look at this website and you'll see what that looks like and the difference that that makes on your e-commerce web website. So if we look at design your own, you're gonna see now the configurator embedded directly into the website. And you can use this um, sub page or this basically the section on your landing page where it's hash design your own. Or if you wanted a full dedicated page for the designer, you can just take out the hash and you can put in a forward slash design your own. And this is a full screen uh, configurator that you can use to, well, customers can use to shop sheds and design a shed from you. So this is uh, where they would design the shed. And if they click add to wish list, then it kind of captures the information in the configurator. It then adds the building to the wish list and it says right here it's either added or it'll say failed as a, there'll be an error. And once the building is added to your wish list, you can see it here. So this site's already configured, everything is working. So let's go back to ShedSuite and I'll show you what needs to be set up in order for this all to be working. So the first thing is to toggle on Use 3D Builder. The second thing is to go to your dealers, pick the dealer that you want to be your corporate store. So this is, this is basically your corporate dealership where if a customer goes to your website and designs a building, this is the dealer where the lead or the quote is gonna go. So I have this dealer right here called ABC Shed Co. And I grab the dealer ID. So this dealer ID is 170. And you have to go into Idea Room, into the Sales View Portal, under Dealers, create a new dealer if you don't have it already. And right here, I already have this dealer. You have to set up a dealer and make sure that the dealer ID matches the dealer ID in Shed Suite. So 170, dealer name, ABC Shed Co. Corp dealer. And it just needs to match the idea. The ID just needs to match, okay? So that's the first thing <clears throat> that has to happen. Um, once that's done, then the configurator that's you know on the website should work as far as it'll send over a lead and a quote to your um, uh, well, it'll actually add it to the cart. The customer can add it to the cart and then they can check out and they can buy the building online. So if they do that, then they'll come into ShedSuite as a new order quote and the dealer can submit that quote as an order. Or in this case, if it comes in at your corporate lot, you can reassign it to another dealer so that they can continue the order and submit it as an order, okay? Um, the thing to watch out for here is if something is not mapped properly. So we have uh, styles, we have sightings, and we have roofing and, and uh, yeah, sighting and sighting colors mapped to ShedSuite. So I'll show you what it looks like if I choose a sighting type that is not mapped to ShedSuite and I try to add this to my wish list, I actually get this little error in the uh, browser that says, oops, something went wrong. And if you really wanna know what went wrong, you can click the inspect button, click the network tab, open up the network tab, click add to wish list again. It will then attempt to add it to the wish list. And you'll see in the console here where it's got an add idea room designed to favorites and it'll be red. If you click on it to open it up, 
the error message will say the order building citing ID field is required. And so what that means is you don't have the cedar tongue and groove citing in shed suite and it's not mapping. And so therefore we can't, we don't know what that is. And so we can't create a quote for it. If I change it to a citing type that I do have in shed suite and I try again, then the, the message will succeed and it will work. Uh, but that's a way you can see added to wish list, view wish list, and there you go, it's, it's added. So that's a way for you to kind of debug and, and figure out what's going on and why that's not working. And uh, it's always good to test it. You know, once you've got this set up, go to your e-commerce website. Um, it's just yourdomain.shedsuite.com forward slash design your own. And you can play around with the configurator and just make sure that it's you know adding to wish list and adding to cart and that's working and if it's not working you can obviously get with our support team and we can help you figure out why uh, but it's generally the reason why it wouldn't be working is one of these models and one of the sizes the sightings or the roofing is not mapped to shed suite now we'll take a look at what it looks like when a quote comes in from the e-commerce platform and you can see that this order was submitted here uh, by a customer and it's currently assigned to the ABC Shed Co which is because they did a design and a you know they submitted an e-commerce order from the root site now if you want to reassign this out to a different dealer you can do that you can just click reassign you can choose which dealer you want it to go to click the dealer choose the dealer user save it and then that will push that design over to that dealer so that they can open it up and they can submit that order of course with this new integration you also get a lot more uh, really cool google analytics reporting in google analytics that'll be a video for another time but you'll be able to see in google analytics uh, how what the value of the designs that people are adding to their cart who's adding things to their cart and how many things are getting added to their cart you know inventory and new builds so you'll be able to track um, you know how customers are shopping on your site whether they're adding new builds to your cart or adding existing inventory to your cart uh, so we're excited to, to launch this we're excited to see you guys use it now, of course if you have any issues create a support ticket for us um, but we will talk to you in the next video.